Guten Tag, chess amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Playing as black today. Playing Dame and Draw from the US. Um, I think this is uh, probably one of the higher rated players that I've played uh, in my chess grind so far in this series. I think we've only played one other player that was 825, if I remember correctly, and that ended up being the cheater. So this should be kind of fun. We're working our way up the ladder. Hmm. Hmm. I think. <clears throat> first things first, we probably want to get our light square bishop out so we can push the pawn and get our dark square bishop out. Just do a blunder check. Okay. Not doing anything too egregious here so far. I imagine e6 next. Mm, okay, that's fine. Mm. Mm. Could either go f6 or e6. Uh, what is more important? Mm hmm. Think about this. One of the troubles that I get myself into with this opening is that uh, the opponent will get a light square bishop out on this diagonal, and then the king's very exposed. So maybe I'll just look to do sort of a faster castle than I'm normally used to with this opening. Okay, so no real threats yet. Yeah, I want to um I want to castle as fast as I can. So let us develop all the pieces. He can push d4 b4 and kick this bishop back if I go c5. So I don't really want to waste a move on that. Um, I'll play d6 in favor of just playing a centralizing move and trying not to get the bishop kicked back here. Now I have an early castle, so I'm not overly concerned about the sort of diagonal here. Uh, what I'm imagining next is h4 and then he sort of traps in my bishop so i'm really tempted to just go e5 so i can at least squeeze my bishop back in if i really need to and then it would uh, let's think about this if i push he takes hmm. i think that does just lose a pawn though Hmm. I have a better idea. Why don't we just open up h7 for the bishop to fall back to so I can at least have a nice little cubby hole in case he decides to attack this bishop. f6 is still defended by the queen. Uh, next move I'm going to be looking for is a castle. I guess I could have just pressured his knight here as well, but I liked h6 better. Um, let's see, is there any reason not the castle here? Let's think about this. I'm just going to do a scan for sort of viable moves. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to castle. Play it safe. I 
I think I need to start supporting the e-font. Yeah, so that's exactly what I was expecting. Let's see, h7. I want to move the knight somewhere afterwards so I can sort of uh, attack his knight here. It is loose, but I would need to move my knight onto a more sort of threatening square. I'm just going to fall back to h7 here. I also do need to remember to sort of develop on the queen side as well too. Kind of want to go e7 with the queen, then e8 with the rook. Support the support the center a bit more. Could also just play a developing move too. Okay. Hmm. I could push the pawn up, but um, I'm feeling rookie one for some reason. If I go c6, I don't have great follow-up moves with the knight, or do I? I guess I do. I guess c6, e5. Maybe he'll push a pawn next or something. Mm. Just do a move check here. I eh, will just play developing move. Still need to figure out how to sort of threaten this knight. He doesn't have any viable escape squares with his knight in this position right here. Uh, g6, f5 are protected. So maybe I just have to fall back. Right? I believe any move that I make with the knight just sort of wins the knight here. Uh, I imagine he'll be forced to protect the knight, and it looks like his only protection is going to be g3, which obviously, yeah, I, I would like him to push g3, and then I'm not going to retake, but it really weakens his uh, king side and weakens his uh, castle as well. So I'm just going to make this move and attack his knight. I think he's going to have to go g3 to protect it, so it's going to weaken his, his king's side castle. He's done his knight a bit of a disservice by going to h4. His king is on a semi-open file now, too. So that's something to keep in mind. And he still hasn't castled. Oh, there he goes. Well, I just got a, a free knight, so... Um, probably no reason 
not take it. Let's do a quick sanity check. I don't think I'm losing anything in the position by taking this. Let's just do a sanity check. Check the diagonals. Check the rank. Check the diagonals. Okay, I don't think he can get it back. Sanity checks. Okay. Uh, feels bad, bro. Feels bad. I was really hoping for a longer game. I, man, I think these past couple of games have been pretty short. <laughs> well, the previous game went on for a good while, but the game before that was a bit short. So this was a victory in 13 moves. Uh, so that was well played. Yeah, GG da Damon draw. Um, let's see. I played 81%. He played 66. Let's call it. 800 game elo versus 1400 game elo. Okay, good, good. Oh, nice idea with getting the bishop out to f5. I'm happy about that. So it wants to develop the knight to c6. Okay, good to know. Really wants to get the knight out. Let me see what it says here. Your bishop becomes more powerful by developing it towards the action. Agreed. Let me just see what it would say. Uh, I don't think it gives you the coach review for sort of theoretical moves. I need to figure out why c6 is so important for the Karakon. Good move there. Yeah, I was on the right idea with sort of uh, having an escape for the bishop here because uh, he really didn't have anywhere else to go. So kind of making this cubby here was was definitely the play. Pushing a pawn. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about pushing the uh, sort of castled pawns so early or the pawns in front of the king so early. Even if it is the best engine move, um, it's just an unnatural move for me to play at this point. So, I thought this was a fine move. So let's let's see what his let's see what his best move would have been here. Yeah. So g three, uh, kind of like we talked about in the game. So yeah, makes sense because um. Yeah, he needed to bring his knight back, probably to like g two next. Um, otherwise, I um, I can't read, I can't capture the knight here with the queen, obviously because he'd win a queen. And then this is a great move. Really had to triple check and do a super sanity check there to make sure that I wasn't gonna lose any material here, but the queen wasn't really defending anything else, so this was fine. But uh, yeah, unfortunate short game, but uh, GG Damon draw either way and uh, see you guys in the next game.